this is industrial surplus. Today we are videotaping a YCI Supermax three axis CNC vertical milling machine with a Centroid M50 CNC control and uh, it's a variable speed head which runs from 60 to 4200 RPMs. It's controlled by the typical hand wheel uh, dial up on top. The uh, third axis on the uh, Z motion is the quill itself with a vertical adjustment on the knee. Travels on this, uh, well let's start with the table sizes. 9 by 49 inches. It's a nice big table. Longitudinal travel is 37 inches. Cross travel is a big 16 inches. It's nice. The, these have uh, nice box ways. Very rugged, heavy duty. Uh, the quill travel is 15 inches, which is the Z. Maximum distance from the uh, spindle to the tabletop is 49 inches. Table load capacity is around 700 pounds, actually 772. The uh, taper in the spindle is an R8. The head swivels and pivots on a knuckle just like a bridge port does. It's also mounted on a ram which swivels and moves in and out. Overall machine dimensions are 74 by 106 by 87 inches high, should weigh right around 2,500 pounds, and it's a three horsepower milling head. The machine again was built new in 1994, and uh, we're pretty sure that that also is the vintage of the uh, Centroid Control. It also uh, has master cam in this, and uh, what was the other thing? Uh, Master Cam and Intercon go from blueprint to part in 48 minutes. And Master Cam version 3.21, mill level 1, includes pocketing, contouring, drilling, and engraving. Uh, nice, nice little package in the, in the control itself. The control is a PC based control. There's a uh, three and a quarter inch floppy. Could probably be updated at some point. So we'll uh, go ahead and uh, do some motions. This is the spindle here. We'll uh, kind of run it up and down for you. So that's about 500, and we'll bring it up to uh, 4,200. It's a standard uh, draw bar mount, like a Bridgeport R8. The table is in uh, pretty good condition, except for it looks like this one little uh, mar there, possibly. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, we turn the spindle off because we want to move the axis around. We want you to hear how nice it is. This is the uh, x-axis. It's just incredibly quiet. And we're just moving that by the uh, remote... Uh, the MPG. The what? Manual pulse generator. That's it. Well, while he has this all in moving it all the way out, I'll give you an idea of the box ways. They're uh, very nice condition. Real nice. So that, that's just moving. That's uh, real quiet. Uh, we do, uh, you can manually manipulate this machine through the uh, hand wheels. And I got to tell you, those ball screws uh, feel real tight. And uh, also, uh, the control will measure in uh, one-tenth increments. 
on all three axes, so it's pretty accurate. And uh, actually, uh, I was moving it earlier uh, with the hand wheel, and I could move uh, actually move it one tenth at a time. So that that's uh, that's nice. Uh, this is a uh, like a pad or track pad or a mouse, I guess. Really, uh, you put it into a certain mode. Works with master cam. Let's go to master cam just to show it. So uh, this is the uh, the mouse that I was talking about. And then you could go up and click on your different uh, functions, whatever you're doing. We just kind of opened it and then closed it again. So we're back where we were. Uh, it also has uh, manuals for the control and master cam. This is the uh, PC here. The drives, electrical panel. Uh, access door for uh, the floppy disk drive, power on and off. Uh, looks like uh, air connection down there, and I believe on the other side there's a uh, lubricator, which is right there. And while I'm down here, I don't know if you can see the ways, but they're well protected, well covered, and uh, looks good. the uh, machine tag here. Alright, uh, that's our machine and uh, we're pleased with it. I think you will be too, but if you have any questions uh, feel free to uh, contact us. We'll be happy to answer them for you. Thank you.